Merry Christmas, YouTube. I have with me a huge box of art supplies that I got for Christmas and haven't tested yet. So guess what we're gonna do today? Now before we get into the video, I just wanted to say that only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if you end up enjoying the video, please consider subscribing. It's 100% free and it helps me out a lot. Enjoy the video. All right, let's drag this sucker over. Big boy. All right, so the first thing I have is this ginormous case, right? So we're just gonna kick that back over there and we're gonna open up this case. All right, let's open this up. Oh my gosh. We have 32 different colors of oil pastels. We have this beautiful array of paints over here, some paint brushes, plenty of watercolors over here. I wonder what these are. All right, on this side, we have a bunch of different colored pencils. These are basic sketching pencils. This right here is a really fine tip lining pen. This is a blender for charcoal, pencil sharpener, eraser, right here i'm super excited about these we have some charcoal sticks would you look at those oh my gosh i've never used these before so i'm really excited to try these out and of course we have some markers that are brush tip very very nice love these time to see what's in this package by the looks of it we have okay this little sheet of paper right here saying the different types of projects included with this by the looks of it, which are right here. Got some nice coloring pages. Very nice. That'll help me practice some shading. Some basic little pieces of paper. Very useful for testing things out later in a few. Next up in the box, we have these portfolios, right? My grandmother got me these. I've never used a portfolio before, so I'm going to have to figure out how to use them. But basically, you have these sheets of paper in here, right? They're not even paper. What, what does it say there? Like, uh, polypropylene? Polypropylene? It's as close as I'm getting. And you basically have these, like, sheets, like a photo album, right? And you put your artwork in there. And if you go to art school or you just want to show off your work to someone like that and seem professional, you just slap this sucker down on the desk and say, there you go. I'm professional. So how's that for professional art stuff? Next up in the box, canvases. By the looks of it, this is a six pack of canvases. Very, very nice. They're for oil and acrylic paint, medium texture, non-toxic, acid free. Very good. I love the smaller canvases. They're much easier to cover and they require less paint. We have some more canvases. Tiny. We love that. We love that. These would make perfect gifts. You just got to paint your little design on there, hand it to someone and say, here you go. I put effort into this, right? Homemade gifts are much better than store-bought gifts. I gotta say, not that I'm complaining about these. I love these. But homemade gifts really say a lot, you know? Next, we have some watercolor paper. This stuff is good. See that nice thick packet? The difference between watercolor paper and regular paper is that watercolor paper is thicker so that when the watercolor dries and you have like the liquid and stuff on there, it won't crumple up and act all weird like normal paper does. I have problems trying to do watercolor on normal paper, so this is a very good gift for me to have. All right, next up, we have a couple more watercolor pads. These are nicer for just normal, everyday. I'm going to do something on a watercolor pad. These are smaller, too. Very nice. 10 out of 10 would recommend as a gift. Next up, we have some acrylic paints. We love acrylic here. Acrylic is my main paint medium. I don't really dabble in a whole lot of other paints. Acrylic, 10 out of 10, that's the way to go for me. We have the 14 piece set and this bigger one here, which super awesome. I cannot wait to get into these. The 14 piece set comes with a couple brushes, as you can see. Next up, we have some tempura paint sticks. I've never tried these, so let's go ahead and give that a go. 
This is what they look like. So we have our little pieces of paper, which I said would come in handy. We are going to take the green, twist the cap off, crank that sucker up. It looks like one of those crankable crayons. And it paints just like that. That's honestly really cool. I've never knew that these were a thing. So these are super awesome. If you can get these, I would definitely recommend them. Next up out of the box, we have a couple sketch pads. I love sketch pads. Sketch pads are always a welcome gift for me for Christmas time and birthdays because I'm constantly burning through them, especially now that I'm an art YouTuber. So these, I definitely recommend getting them if you're thinking about getting something for the artist this Christmas season, their birthday, next Christmas, any gifting occasion, even if there's no gifting occasion and you just want to be nice. Now, if you've made it this far in the video, I would personally like to thank you. There is a little bit left, but before I get into the rest of that, I have a special announcement. Now, at some time, either late February or early March, I will be doing my 16th birthday cooking stream. So be sure to subscribe with notifications on if you haven't already to make sure you don't miss it. Next up out of the box, we have a six pack of 12 by 16 canvases. These are nice, they're not too big, but they're not too small. So if you wanna do a bigger gift, these are pretty good. We also have a book on beginning composition for tips and techniques for creating well-composed works of art in acrylic, watercolor, and oil by Kimberly Adams. My grandmother got me this and I cannot wait to use it. We also have a book on how to mix colors. That is going to come in really handy because I'm not very good at mixing colors when it comes to paint. We also have this called Hand Lettered Life. Design your own quotes with 16 scratch boards and four alphabet and ornament stencils. This seems like an interesting thing and I cannot wait to try it out. Next up we have some more little paint palettes. I'm trying to avoid the glare here. We have some paint palettes, which I am in desperate need of because my paint palette is disgusting. So these, super good gift for the painter in your life. Next up we have a little paintbrush holder, right? I'm gonna get this thing out in just a second, don't you worry. And we're gonna test it out with some of my paintbrushes. I'm hoping that this turns out really well because it's something that I had seen and I really wanted. We only have a few more things left. First up is this, the ultimate rinse cup. So I'm just gonna snap my fingers and it'll be open. See, three, two, ta-da. Now see, look, you have these little grips right here to put your brushes, this thing on the inside to scrub them on and nice little silicone mat so that you don't get any paint anywhere. Super nice, I would definitely recommend. Seems watertight, so you can put water in it with liquid soap, even if you want to, to go the extra mile. Super good gift, definitely recommend. Next, we have the metallic color pen. There's different colors. They're artist quality, long lasting, non-toxic, and water-based ink. I'm gonna try these out here in a minute. And we have some liner pens by the same brand. I cannot wait to use these. My liner pens have all but puked out on me. I can barely use them anymore. So these, super welcome gift for the artist in your life. Now I do have to say that the tip size varies. You have anywhere from super thin to brush tip, right? Now the super thin ones are like needle point. They're for super, super, super small details. Time to test out our metallic pens. Now we're gonna take this color, which is a gold color. Gonna pop the lid off. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That marks so well. I cannot wait to use this in my art pieces. I would definitely recommend this. I would recommend all of these. These are going to be super great gifts for the artist in your life or even for yourself. All right, here is the brush holder out of the package and I have my brushes on it. So basically when you're painting and you need to set your brush somewhere, you can just set it there inside the little nubs and it'll keep it elevated so that paint can drip down onto this thing if it needs to. 
and you won't have to worry about getting paint on your workspace. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I encourage you to drop a like, comment, and subscribe.